go. Can we go to Facebook? All right, everyone, if you can hear me, good. I'm currently connecting to Facebook. So I'm gonna see if this will happen. And more importantly, that you can understand what I'm saying. So it's gonna take a few moments. I'm hoping that the connection will work. Okay. And let me see. Let me see. Hopefully it will. I'm waiting for an event to happen. Hold on. Oops. Okay. Let's see. But I don't want it to be there. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm not asking for a different browser. Uh, who's this? I don't think this is what I want. Hold on. Log out because I don't want it going here. I didn't direct it here. I need to go to my other one. Okay. This is not the browser that I'm using. I don't know why it's going to that. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try once again. It's not going to my usual browser, unfortunately, which is not what I want this to do. Um, let me see. That's going to be interesting, people. Sorry that you have to go through this and understand. And here, you know, all this machinations going through here. Let's see. But let me see what's going on. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So this is interesting. Now I'm waiting for a password to come through. So sorry that this has happened, but mm, once again, we're going through it again. This is extra special. Okay, I'm not getting it here. Let me try here. What's this? Always something interesting coming up. Let me see. All right, I'm not getting it there. That's not gonna happen here either. Oh, something's come up, let me see. Okay, but that's not what I'm looking for. Oops. Okay, hold on. Lots of interesting things are happening tonight. Lots of interesting things are happening tonight. Let me see. Wow, okay. I got a notification somewhere and I cannot find it. Let me see where that may have come through. Okay, here we go. Okay, got it. Okay, it just took a little bit longer than it should have. Okay. 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 Let's see if it'll do this for me. Well, this is the one that says sent. Oh, wrong one. Okay. 
All right, that's interesting. Hmm. That's not it. Hmm. Okay. Nope. I'm not getting any password. Let me see. Hmm. Where did you go? What's this? Well, it's in a sense, some sort of a message. I just don't know where. That's interesting. We'll try this again. Okay. Let's see what happens now. There we go. That's what I needed. And let's see. There I go. Okay. Getting more special by the moment, as I always say, all the time. Okay, let's see what happens now. Uh, no. Let's see. It's using another browser that I'm not familiar with. That's the problem. Oh my god, look at that sound. Okay. Broadcast meeting. And here we go. Let's see. Uh huh. Okay, here we are. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to share my timeline. I want to share somewhere else. No, there we go. Share my page. There we go. Very good. Good. Okay. And go live. See what happens. Okay. I hope. Take a moment. Okay. Okay. Let me see. See something happening here. What happening here? Ah, here we go. I see something opening up or trying to open up here. Mm -hmm. All right, let me come over here. I will be in a moment. Huh? All right. It's so loud. Ooh. See what's happening. Yes, it was.
got it. Oh, neat. Nothing's happening here. That's special. Let me go to my other page. It should be happening there. Oops. No. Let's check. Zoom. Okay, good. Open. Watch live video. See what happens. Two people are on. See what happens. Two people are on. See what happens. Two people are on. Two people are on. Hello everyone. I can see myself on Facebook and understand myself, but my chat window is still bubbling, so it's not coming through. I can see myself for me on to Facebook communicate with you. Understand myself, but my so chat that's window is going still to be an issue, so obviously, if through. I can't get I can see for me to you. see your questions to do spot reading. Technology. Truly incredible. At least I know I can understand myself. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sure you can. It's just that I won't be able to get responses because the chat window is just continuously buffering and doesn't come through. That was a problem why I didn't use this last week also. So now there's problems with Facebook Live and with Zoom, <laughs> which I never had before with Zoom. So let me look around and see what's going on you know, here. And that's not kicking here. Here. We're in Zoom. Okay. Camera's working. Zoom meeting. Okay. Here's my Zoom meeting. Okay. Camera's working. Let me see if I can get a chat window open. Okay. Okay. I'm in Zoom. It says I'm live on Facebook. Let me see. The chat room is working in Zoom for me. So if you want to post questions and have spot readings, look at my invitation that I placed on my page on Facebook and connect with me that way. Because apparently that would be the only way that I'll be able to see your, your questions and your comments directly to Zoom. You may be seeing me on Facebook, obviously, which is good. But I can't see your comments directly from Facebook Live. It's buffering for some reason, just for you to be aware of. It is working here on Zoom. I can understand myself as I'm speaking on Zoom. I guess I can hear the background. And I have a chat window working here. On Facebook, unfortunately, I do not. And I have a chat window here. So that's for you to be aware of. 
because I go to the other browser, which for some reason, Zoom decided to try to connect through Facebook through the other browser, which I do not use. And I have nothing but a blank white screen. So that's fascinating too, to see that. Truly crazy, truly, truly crazy. Um, but hopefully you can hear me. To see that, you know, on Facebook, I am connected to Facebook. Let me check my cell phone and see what I can see here. And yes, I can see that I have a connection. Let's see, on Facebook, on my cell phone. And yes, I can see that as I'm looking. Let's see on Facebook on my. So let's see. Okay. Well, it seems someone to be buffering there. Okay. I see a comment from one person here. Got it. Okay. I see a comment from one person here. Got it. Let me just check in. Okay. So I see that happening there. All right. So here we go. I'm looking at the Facebook window, I think. So many windows, I don't know which one is which anymore. Okay. So I'm on Zoom here. Let's see. So many windows, which one is which anymore? All right, I'm back on Zoom. Yes, okay, I got one person with me here on Zoom. Very good. I can see the chat window clearly here. So I know that you're there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And just type something here quickly. Whoops. Okay. Uh, see that? Let's see. Just type something here quickly. Let's see. Okay. Just gonna put a little thing there. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I just typed so okay, so the chat window definitely is working perfectly on Zoom. Okay. So if anybody's interested, you can come join me on Zoom. I know you can see me on Facebook. Uh, I can see myself beautifully on Zoom and on Facebook as well. Um, through my cell phone. <laughs> But I can't connect chat window on Facebook Live. I can connect to chat window, however, on my cell phone. So if you don't want to connect on Zoom, you can write to me on Facebook Live and I can see it on my cell phone. The chat window does appear here, okay? So you have your questions. So we'll just have to work it out in that way the wonderful world of metaphysics and spiritual and computers, at least for me, absolutely crazy. <laughs> but at least we got things working. It's beyond my control because that's what the way the computer and the systems are working. It changes weekly. I have no control over that. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it does not. Um, I'm just gonna have some sort of a connection here. So if any of you are hearing me, uh, in Facebook, seeing me on Facebook, please, you know, type in in the chat window on Facebook, and I will see your comment on my cell phone because I do have that. And on Zoom directly, of course, you can connect on Zoom, and I will see you, obviously here. And chat window is working just beautifully. So it's almost 10 o'clock. It's taken almost an hour to do all of this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank God it's Saturday. Um, so any of you who are hearing me out there, this is a makeup 
uh, show, you know, for last week, because we had similar problems in regards to seeing the chat window, and I wasn't able to connect for spot readings. I did do the other portion of the show, however, which worked out fine. But tonight I wanted to vote exclusively to spot readings, and we see that, you know, once again, you know, things have occurred. But there is a way to work around it, luckily. So if you are seeing me, hearing me, you can, you know, connect with me, you know, that way. And we will do what we need to do to get spot readings going. So let's hope that more of an audience, you know, shows up. And let me check, check over here. So let's hope that more of an audience, you know, shows up. And here we go. Okay. And let me check. All right. So I have a few people here. Okay, I can see my video here on Facebook. Perfect. On my cell phone. So I see the chat is popping up here. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Okay. So let me look, let me scroll here for a moment. Good to see you too, Kyla. Thank you for joining me. I'm seeing all of you through Zoom, okay? I know that you're all seeing me through Facebook Live. So I am now looking, scrolling down the chat window on Facebook Live on my cell phone. Because on my computer, it just does not come up. Just for you all to be aware, if you see that I'm looking down and around and I'm not paying attention to you directly on the screen here, it's because I need to look at my cell phone to see your comments and your questions. But here we go. All right, so okay i'm just reading here to see reading here a bit okay so we have a question for spirit thank goodness so let me just sit back and get comfortable uh -huh. uh -huh. all right pauline good to hear that of course they hear you Whenever you express gratitude, of course, they're going to be able to hear you directly. So it's good that you know you feel that things are going well for you. Now, I have a question here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look, Kyla. Let's address your question and see what comes up for you yeah, right away. And immediately I get a sense that there's a number of people in spirit for you, Kyla. So as you know, you're never alone. They're smiling you know, at the situation here. There's several people actually. So you're lucky you were asking for that. So several people are here. I can feel them around me. And this is a good thing. And let's have them look and see. Um, the impression that I'm given for you, Kyla, is don't feel that you're, figuratively speaking, kind of being tied you know, up or tied down. Like you're feeling that you're being maybe perhaps restricted in some way and not being able to get out and do what you need to do. Something's holding you back, you know, basically. And this is the group that's telling me this, by the way. So um, the thing is, you know, that's more you than an actual situation. Don't feel that you're being bogged down by anything or weighed down by anything. Um, proceed, move, do what you need to do. Your only one who's holding you back is yourself. So let go of any uh, fears or lack of support because it is there for you, you have it. You can get up and move and do things as you need to. There's nothing that's restraining you or restricting you except your own self-doubt. That is the immediate uh, sense and impression that I get for you too. Um, I get a sense as I'm also being told, and I do believe it is your Uncle Charlie, okay? Um, something about money and money issues and being a little tight, you know, also. So that, again, don't be, let's say, not moving forward because of that either. Don't be afraid. Move forward. You shouldn't be like losing financially or so and just move forward. Money will start to come in to you. It, you don't have to rely so much on money for what you need to do and progress 
with your future plans. Financially, things will be good for you and in place. I will come to you. The key that they're showing me here is don't feel that you can't move forward in your life because you can. The only one who's holding you back is yourself. They will be there with you. They will hold your hand, and spiritually speaking, and help you here at the time. I'm also getting the sense of a little boy also. That's here on earth. That's not spirit. So there's something about a small child, and it's a little boy that somehow you have a connection or an affection to. You also, and that, you know, um, for some reason will be helpful. That's meaningful in your life for some reason. I don't know if you're taking care of a little boy or so at this time, for some reason, if you're babysitting or being helpful in that way. But I do see a significance of a little boy uh, that has an attachment to you or you have an attachment to them. And, um, oh, I see, thank you, thank you. That's what I see. Okay, very good. So there will be a close connection with you and that little baby boy, then especially the more in the future. Well, you will be very helpful in perhaps taking care you know, of that child, uh, being of assistance you know, for your cousin. Congratulations to your family for having the baby, first of all. And I see that you're gonna be very close to this child and be very, very like taking care of them when they're a little older, obviously, because I see this a little boy like about three or four. So see that you might be very helpful and maybe even taking care of this little boy in some way. You might be even, uh, babysitting them, let's say, or helping out with that. But there will be a close association yeah, with this child for you. I was feeling it more like now, but obviously it's going to be more future. But since baby boy just was born, it's already showing what's to come ahead for the future. So this is very right, very positive, and we be very helpful for you, you know, also. So that's going to like come back to you. You too. So lots of good things heading with lots of good energy for you. Things are starting to improve and get better for you. Um, you just have to be more independent and get out more on your own, which you're going to do and you know that you have to do that. And don't worry about, you know, things falling apart in the future. You will be able to handle everything that you need to as you move forward in your journey. And things will open up for you. Spirit is very strong with you. You have several people in spirit behind you and on your side. They will walk with you and be helpful, you know, for you. And let me see, I have another person coming in. Let me admit them uh, to Zoom. So welcome uh, to Zoom. And that's what I see for you so far. But financially, you'll be good, okay? Don't worry about, you know, financial loss or whatever, because you're going to be taken care of well, Kyla. You just have a lot of things ahead of you in your future. Things are changing. You're moving into the next phase of your life. It is time, as you know. And it's time for you to get more independent. And that's part of your natural progression. So you'll be able to take care of yourself more, uh, a job, for instance, as well, which will be well needed, also besides further education. And that's going on. It's just you're starting the journey now. So it's a little scary because it's still unknown. It's a little new. But you'll be connected with newer people as well. And uh, you feel like you're very on your own and alone, but you necessarily won't be even here on Earth. There will be support for you besides spirit. There will be support for you from here too. There's several new people that are coming into your life that you do not know yet at this time. Okay. And so there'll be a lot of new introductions for you as you're moving forward. And that way that will be supportive. And it's a little interesting because it's new. And these are people you don't know and they're new for you. So it's establishing connections, making new relationships. So that's the next several months to a year is where you're heading. You know, so this is all very good and very exciting. You'll be all right. Okay. So have no fear. So let's see. Um, so I have three people here. Hello. Uh, my third person. Welcome for being here. And let me see if there's anything else, anyone else scrolling. Hello, Mary Lou, I see you here. Hello, Ron, thank you for watching. 
And luckily I can see what's happening here. You're very welcome, Kyla, I'm glad. And like I said, a lot of people are here with you from spirit, they're around me right now. So they're like behind me on either side, I feel them, I see them. So lots and lots of support for you. You're very lucky, very blessed that you have family, especially because I feel strong family connections here. You're with you, have no fear. And of course, Uncle Charlie will always be helpful to you. Don't worry about that. He was always very concerned about things and people and very responsible person, very much into you know following the letter of the law and just following up on things properly for others as well as for himself. So you have that very wonderful spirit working with you in that way, his personality remains the same. His concerns as they were here on earth are the same you know, there too. And that will be directed to you. So you have good support for you that way. As he was here, he's there, but gives you that same support and light you know, from there for you here on earth. And let's see, hi Valerie, how are you? Hello, Mary Lou again. I'm just scrolling to see. A little interesting to have to like come here and then see information here on two different devices. But at least we're getting that connection going. So if anybody has any questions, please type them in. You know, on Facebook, I am able to see that and make those connections for you. Okay. If anybody has any questions, please type them in. So we're gonna hang out here for a bit. I'm glad about that. And so as we see things are slowly progressing. You know, in the world, there is a shift and a change in the energies as we're all seeing and sensing, especially those of us who are sensitive. We can see the clearing. We can feel the clearing starting to take place. And that's a good thing. It's much more clearing needs to be done. However, much more. It's very nice that the world is opening up again a bit more and people are feeling better and more confident about going out more safely. But don't be fooled by the fact that there's still energies out there that are trying to be problematic in a more subtle way. We're not through the woods yet, as they say. So we need to be super sharp and super aware and channel our energies to make sure that that negative aspect of things really is vanquished and banished and is defeated you know, from our lifescape and from this world. Negativity can be very insidious and it works in the air and it looks like things are going lovely and yet it's still lurking there very like hiding almost invisible so for those of us who are sensitive we can be aware of that and we need to project our energy to continue to pray to channel to fight against that for removal of that once and for all and we must be strong about it and not back up or get, let's say, too relaxed. That goes for everyone. We've been through a major, major, major trauma in the last year and a quarter here. And it's just not gonna go overnight. So be super sharp, be responsible, be super aware, fight, fight, don't be fooled until it is finally gone. That's what has to be done. And let me say, I do have a question here from another person. Yes, Rosa, thank you for being here. And let's see if there's anyone for you, Rosa. Let's see as we come through immediately. Well, that's interesting. So I get the sense there's an energy shift right away. We're talking about you here and spirit. And I get the sense there's an energy, one energy. It feels like a male to me. Um, it's an energy that's a bit, hmm, how should I say it? Um, lack of a better way of saying it, Rosa, it feels a little bit heavy. But not necessarily that it has to be in a bad way. It just feels a little heavy. And um, 
that heaviness has to do with the person, again, not in a bad way, but um, in a way that, that the person, I guess, when they were here on earth or so, there was some health issue or so, they were not feeling their best. And it's kind of like sending me that signal that there was not feeling well, there was illness. And when they left, it was because of that illness because it was a heavy energy. And that's how they left, unfortunately. But of course, they're not like that anymore. You know this because I know who you are and I know that you are sensitive. And, but it is a male. That should be gone. It's just a way for you to recognize who this is. This is new to me, so I don't know who this person is. Um, but there's certainly, you know, that, that way now. It did carry over when they first left. So that was a whole new experience for them. It took a while for that to be gone and alleviated. They're sending to you actually white flowers for you as I'm talking about this shift. And it's almost like they send a bouquet of like white, like not necessarily roses, but like a, a bouquet, a small bouquet of white you know, flowers, you know, to you, you know, as a gift of love, appreciation, and being grateful to you for being good to them as well when they were here and understanding. And they send those beautiful, that beautiful bouquet of white flowers, you know, for you. It had a little scent of something as well too, a sweet scent or fragrance. So there's gratitude, you know, to you for what you did for them you know, prior to their departure. And that things are fine. Luckily, no more pain, no more suffering. That is gone. And let me see, further information for you. And all right, so for you further, there will be improvement in your life in regards to work and finances. So be aware of that. More opportunities, more work will be coming your way, you know, for you. That will open up your finances more. I mean, right now you're okay, but uh, more opportunities to work, to get busier again are also coming your way, Rosa. So this is very good. You've been very even keel and level about all of these things in the past years regarding the pandemic, you um, apparently have handled things well. You're very practical and realistic about things. And you've been navigating through this entire experience you know, very well, fortunately. You've been centered, as I'm being told or getting a sense of. And things will start to open up and improve and become better for you. Again, once again, in regards to work, which translates to, you know, to financial gain for you. So that is a positive right there for you. Now, so I'm coming down here. Let's see. Mm, all right, Mary Lou. Let me see. For you, let's connect. All right, Mary Lou. Um, I'm not getting too much for you at the moment, Mary Lou, except someone who's kind of like laughing a little bit <laughs> uh, for some reason uh, as I'm focusing in. So um, just a little bit of laughter for some reason that comes through. So that's a good sign. I mean, things are well. A particular message, they don't seem to be concerned or worried for you, luckily. I mean, you, that's a good thing. You have support and doing well, so don't be worried about things for you. As more comes in, I'll let you know. I have Valerie here with a question uh, from your guides, Valerie. Um, you're welcome, Rosa. Yes, I just saw your, your message. You're welcome. Uh, Valerie, everything is just steady for you. Your guides are always strong with you. Just keep trusting in them. Things are going the way they need to. Try to work a little bit more in connecting with them on your own because that would be helpful you know, to you. So you're not always questioning 
you know, what's ahead or what's coming or how things are going, you got to learn to relax a bit more about things and trust. Up your energies. You need, to, again, to work, do your spiritual work so you can connect more stronger and be more sure that they are there for you and get more of a connection on your own. But things are well. From what I get a sense of for you, uh, Valerie, is that um, things are steady, which is good. I don't get any major changes or shifts right now for you, but actually that's a good thing, especially now in the spring that's starting to settle here and whatever. It's better to have things nice and tranquil and steady than have something problematic coming up later on. I don't get a sense of that at all. It's just going to be a little smooth sailing for the time being. You may be a little bit bored about it or whatever, but I don't see at least something super negative coming your way or anything that you have to worry about, which is a good thing. So be aware you know, of that. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you here. Thank you for watching. And... That's what we have here for you. Uh, coming back to you, Mary Lou, uh, this gentleman, I get more of a heavy set gentleman here with a bit of a belly, if that makes sense to you. And um, he's just, you know, looking down on things. And as they usually are, you know, they are just watching and being supportive. And you do feel like you need that support and you certainly have it, not just from him, but from all the spirit you know, for you. Um, just keep doing what you are doing as well. Watch your health and well-being carefully. Uh, monitor yourself well because things, you know, can change a little bit all of a sudden from moment to moment with you, it seems. Or it seems that way. But sometimes you feel better. Sometimes you don't feel so, so good or whatever. So it's about trying to be even keel and don't, you know, get freaked out when you start feeling a little or whatever. You know, you have your supports here you know, on earth. So just be very diligent and responsible with what you do to take care of yourself. That will minimize, you know, the ups and downs of things for you, okay? So be aware of that. Um, later on in the, in the summer, let's say, um, there's a gentleman who comes your way who comes from a distance, apparently, you know, to connect with you and maybe wanting to get you out and about a bit more, you know, too, as the weather improves and as things improve as well also. So it's like a friend or so who's going to be helpful to you. So you feel good, go out, get a little more active. He will be helpful and supportive of you in that so that you feel that you'll be able to get out more and do a few more things, which will be more, you'll feel better about things, better about your health, better about your um, your well-being, uh, your outlook, especially your, your outlook and your perspective, make you feel more positive. It's not so much the physical, it's more of you, your emotional self, uh, and to get out there and feel active and do more, which will help you feel better and do things. You'll see that you are able to do more things, you know, also. If he invites you to go see the, to the horse races, that's the impression, that's the message they're giving to me, go, go to the racetrack, enjoy. That's something that may come in, you know, later on in the summer, you know, for you. More activity, more movement, you know, for you. You'll be able to do it, which is a good thing. So you're going to have a busier time of it in the next few weeks to come. So that's a good thing to see for you. And you're welcome, Valerie. So we see that going on there. Uh, medications, Mary, um, Mary Lou, uh, some medications, maybe change in medications for you. Just talk to your doctor about that. I'm getting a sense of that for some reason. So it's about being educated and making sure that your provider, your doctor explains everything clearly to you about any shift or changes in medications, you know, for you. That might be better in the long run. It's a good sign, you know, also. That'll make you feel better. And maybe not so dependent on other meds in the past. I just got a lot of medical issues with you and other medical things, the changes there. So it's about improvement and getting active and more movement for you. That's going to be helpful, very beneficial for you. I see the horses once again for some reason. So that's in your future in some way. So be aware, okay? 
<laughs> That's interesting. Horses also can, for you in your case mean money as well too. So maybe more financial gain in some way, not major, major, but I see something like that coming your way too. Very interesting. I don't usually associate animals or horses with money or, or so, but in this case for you, that's the impression I'm getting. They're giving me a sign that that is correct. So just be aware of that. But you'll certainly be getting out more, which is what you need to do. Make a world of difference, you know, for you. And let's see. You're welcome, Mary Lou. So I'm scrolling here. Let's see anything. I don't want to miss anyone. You're here, okay, very good. Like I said, if you want, you can also join me on Zoom. The invitation is there on my page, so you can click in. So if you're not worried about other people seeing you here on Zoom or whatever, or you know, making connections, you can go right ahead and do that. You don't have to show yourself, of course. Um, you can just watch me and then type in your question. You can do it privately. So you can direct message me, okay? So that way the general public doesn't have to see your question. All right. So there's ways to keep maintain your privacy on Zoom. You know, also, I don't have to mention you by name, certainly, okay? If you wanna be private, you can join on Zoom. You don't have to be seen. I don't have it set for anyone else except for me, personal on Zoom. And audio, you know, that's off as well. Again, if you have a question in the chat room, you can direct message me on Zoom. The audience on Zoom does not have to see who you are or your question, only me. And I will preserve your anonymity and just address your question without addressing who you are. So you can feel comfortable about that and you know, protective of your privacy. Uh, okay, Marilu, thank you so much. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you for the confirmation, Marilu. So you know that he's definitely watching over you. He just shows himself heavy to me just so that you can recognize him. But he's, you know, fine. He's certainly well, just presents that way with his belly just to show himself, you know, so that you know who he is and that I know who he is too for you and um but he's well better than ever and when you do come together once again in the hereafter he certainly will not be looking the way he did when you last saw him here heavy or whatever he'll be healthy robust the way he would like to have been when he was here you know on earth but you will know definitely that it is him he will let you know for sure that it's him that's one thing about him he will let you know for sure who he is <laughs> so rest assured for that and that's something to look forward to when the time comes so we always try to make it light you know that way so if anyone else has any questions please type in the chat room and i will address them for you we have spirit very active tonight it, messages are coming through clearly a lot of people a lot of help here tonight with me and spirit wide open wide open wide open so we have that there too. Let me see. Let me also remind you that I do individual readings as well for people uh, through Zoom or through Skype. So you can reach out to me through Messenger on Facebook on the page, the Angelus Colon Transpsychic Express. And I've had a number of you reach out to me and where we've been able to come together that way and to do one-on-one -on -one readings for you. And they've worked out beautifully, very happy for everyone. So you can you know, connect with me and you know and have a one-on-one -on -one reading. That works very, very well, just as well as, as we were in person. We are looking forward to the day that we can all come together again in person you know, to do readings and events once again. And looks like, you know, things are looking up in that direction. We still have to wait some more time. But hopefully by next year, at this time, the worst of the pandemic is over. Most people are vaccinated. There's immunity, hopefully. And we'll be able to meet one another once again in person and gather once again in person and just be able to see each other and hug each other and reunite again it will be wonderful it's going to oh my god it's going to be glorious it's going to 
to be able to connect once again and be able to do things and to go out freely and do what we're hopefully used to doing once again. And that will be a blessing because we've gotten through this. And it just took a long time, but we're on our way. So most definitely I feel by next year at this time, we will be connecting one-on-one -on -one safely once again, or certainly a lot better, a lot better. So that definitely is something to look forward to. That's prayers answered You're right there. A wonderful reunion for so many of us. We are all looking forward to it. It's gonna be just gonna be glorious, just glorious. And I can feel the positive energy and I can see a lot of smiles you know, out there from all of you out there actually and from spirit. You're also showing me that we've come through, we needed to go through this lesson because we needed to learn. We needed to learn lessons, you know, here. And a lot of us have. And a lot of us have learned not to take things granted like we may have before. We've learned that we can live more simpler. We've learned that we're more resilient than we imagined we were. And that we could get through things and we could live with a lot less. And that we can connect with people in a different way than we were before and how meaningful you know, that is. And for a lot of us just to relearn that, for a lot of us to learn it for the first time and for to remember those, those lessons, how it made us stronger, how it made us more appreciative, how it made us more open to others and the importance of genuine connections and to know to connect one-on-one -on -one more than ever before. And that we're never too busy, you know, to come together and to connect with one another directly when the time comes and to appreciate that and to validate that and confirm that, you know, also. So that's the biggest lesson that we learned through this, that we don't need so much as we thought before. And that we can get by with what we have. And that at least is a big lesson for me you know, to have. So that's something I carry with me you know, as well. So we're looking forward to all of that as hopefully when we do come together again. So let's see, as I'm moving on, see if anybody has any other questions. Yes, Mary, look, I see that Ed was your soulmate for sure. Well, he still is. He still is, and they always will be. Those who are, you know, our beloveds here on earth are our beloveds here on the other side too. They are with us. They've never left us. They are still with us. And it's just for us to be able to connect with them as they can connect with us. So as long as we do that and we remember them and we talk about them and we talk to them, you know, they will always be, we will feel it. We will hopefully see them and in time you can, and we will know it, you know, for sure. So as I'm saying that, I'm just getting a lot of visuals coming my way, you know, see a lot of flowers, you know, also around me too. And that's a good thing. Flowers have been important for me lately for some reason. And we're, tomorrow is Mother's Day. So for those of you out there, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in the world and over, you know, the computer. And those who see me, those who do not, uh, happy Mother's Day to your mothers. Happy Mother's Day to those in, in heaven, uh, mothers-to-be also. Uh, everyone who is like a mother you know, to all of us out there, happy Mother's Day. They are with us here on earth as well as in heaven and the other realms. They are with us to celebrate. So look at all the flowers. Flowers are always a big symbol. You know, for Mother's Day. So focus and concentrate on the flowers, especially this year. Now that this year we're coming back and the world is starting to open up more. And at least the way I've seen it, things have been more vivid. I see lots of flowers. I see nature being more lush and more vibrant and more vivid than ever before. And I see the connection with nature more this year and the flowers are everywhere. So surround yourself visually with flowers especially for this spring and especially for tomorrow is mother's day and you will get a sense of love and glory and just beautiful fragrance and warmth 
of nature around you mm -hmm. and you will feel it that will help you connect with spirit more on your own and it will just make you feel better it will make you feel more attuned to everything around you because that's the way it is right now the world is is coming back again and it's it's mother gaia reaching out to us and letting us know that everything's going to be all right that she's here and she's reaching her energy out and trying to embrace all of us to let us know that we're coming back and that we're going to come back safely and strongly and better than ever and for those of us who've learned we have a stronger connection now with the earth with the elements, with spirit, with all of that. And that will make you more empowered and make you feel better about being alive and being in the world and having an extra sense of things in reality that you may not have had before. So listen and see that and you will know it and watch what happens. Lots of good things are coming our way. So listen and see that. Yes, Pauline, it's true. The Macy's flower show so beautiful every year. Well, hopefully next year, you know, that will return and people will go and be able to see it, you know, once again. So we've gotten through all of this. Look, everybody, we've got it seems like we've gotten through the worst. Where a lot of us thought we weren't going to, and that things were not gonna get well if ever. We there was a lot of doubts, but it is turning. It's turning for the better. And we just have to keep aware. And as always, we just have to be responsible, keep doing what we need to do to stay healthy, to watch out for everyone else and be well. Spirit is with us more than ever before. When times of trials like this is when spirit comes closer to us to help us. And we've gotten a lot of help from spirit. We've had a lot of help from the angels. We've had a lot of help from all of those up there and around us in the invisible realms. They don't necessarily be above us. It can be just in our own space around us. It's vibrating on a different level. So we can't, you know, see them or touch and feel them or whatever, but they're within the space, just vibrating in a different level. So it's like a different world, a different dimension, a different reality that exists within our own. It just, it works that way. Um, and we know that that is more and more starting to become better known about how spirit works. As more and more information starts revealing itself to us, as more of the secrets are starting to be open and come out for us, we start seeing how the way spirit and things work and more is coming to us. And I see that I have a new person here. Uh, hello, welcome. Uh, Gigi, yes, welcome. And I am doing spot readings here for the audience here. Okay, so if you feel comfortable about posting a question or so, you're certainly welcome to do that. And I will do my best to connect you know, for you here. Um, if you're catching the program now, as I said, for private readings or so, uh, and those, you know, um, you can connect with me through my Facebook page, which you are on, obviously, and messenger me about that. Because I do offer uh, individual and group readings via Zoom or Skype, and I can email the details about fees and time periods and appointments, if you're interested in that, okay? And that goes for the rest of you as well out there too. So let me see if we can write something here. And hold on a second. Let me just type something real fast for those of you who may be new. There may be some people that are hidden that are not letting themselves be known here. So I just want to write this down for you and how you can connect with me. And here we go. Okay. Here we go. Just writing something fast. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Just writing something fast. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. I just sent that out. Here we go. 
Let me type it 100% well, but at least you get, you can find me. I can be found on Facebook. All you have to do is just type in uh, De Angelis Trans Psychic and I'll come up. That'll be for my public page. And then you can connect with my public page if you like. You know, also, I have a nice large following there. Just made over 500, which I'm very, very happy about. It took like over 10 years to do that, just about 10 years. Uh, but I have, you know, I have over 500 followers, which is wonderful just to see. And you can also, oh, let me write down also one other thing, you know, too. Also, um, just for you out there to know, I can only type here in cell phone because I don't have the connection on the computer, unfortunately. So let me just type this in fast. Right now, I don't have anybody asking any questions. So I'm just pulling up the time right now by giving you all this extra information. And hold on a second. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here we go. And here we go. I have this here. Bing. And I sent that out too. You know, there too. I just see if I got this over here. Let's say I want to make sure that I don't miss anyone out here. And uh, very good. Okay. So far, no. Okay. We have that going on there. Let me just check Facebook, see how I'm zooming through there. Okay. I don't see anything here. That's special. Uh, let me look over here. Check out my page here. Okay. Everything's going good here. Uh, let me just check something. I'm curious about something. Check out my other Facebook page here. Let's see. See if we can see my fine self here somewhere. Check something. I'm curious about something. Uh huh. Facebook page here. Let's see. see. That's interesting. Just coming into Facebook here on the computer. See if I can see something else. Make sure I don't miss anyone. You know here. And. Hold on, people. Look, so far. I'm not ignoring you, obviously. I'm just checking my other Facebook page here and see if I can connect you know, over here. Uh, hold on. Um, let me see. Not, not looking through that. Excuse me a bit as I run the page here. I just want to connect if I can see myself on video here, my other page. Okay, so I'm, hopefully you can still see me. Oh, there we go. Very good. Ah, okay, I got my page here on Facebook here. Wonderful. Now I'm seeing myself here on Facebook finally. Let's see what we've got. Okay, now I can see your messages as well. Fascinating. Here we go. Brilliant. Okay. Let me just do an edit here for something. So we, well, I thought I was going to do an edit, but I can't. That's interesting. I wonder why. Well, the wonderful world of computers. You never know what they're going to do. But you've got my information how to connect with me anyway, which is the important thing. I don't see anybody asking any further questions so far. You're able to do that. You're welcome to post your questions here on Facebook Live. I'm not able to see them. Okay, so this is a good thing. And since I can see you, um, brilliant. Yeah. Let's okay. see, I've got that going here. Okay. Let me just do an edit here for something. Mm -hmm. So we can well, I thought I was gonna do an edit, but I can't. That's it. Here we go. Live. The wonderful world of computers. You never know. So let's see. Oh good. Thank you, Pauline. That's nice to know. Okay, Macy's is holding something. Okay, good. Celebration of fortitude. Excellent. Good to know, very appropriate actually as well. So from the world of spirit, it is very active tonight. A lot of the times it's because that we're open as I am tonight and asking for them to be with me, to guide and to guide me and to receive information, you know, for you as well. Um, also the, you know, the weather lends itself to it. We have rain coming, rain is a good facilitator for spiritual connections, water, water is emotions. Water works with our water in our systems. It opens up emotionally, makes us more susceptible to information. 
And let's see. So I'm seeing myself here. Make sure that I don't miss anything here. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So, ah, okay, here we go. I have some new information here. Thank you, Mary Lou. Thank you so much. I know I miss the Queen Psychic Club as well, as so do many others. You know, uh, we miss it so much. It's been what? Thank you, Mary. Gee, Thank you so much. four years or so since it came to a conclusion. Incredible, isn't it? How time has gone. And we do miss it tremendously. And we wish that we could have another Queen Psychic Club return. Once again, who knows? Let's see what happens at some point once the world opens up and we come together once again. And let's see. Um, and I used to love doing the astrological reports as well, you know, too. Those were fun. Astro and speaking about astrology, uh, for this month, well, things will certainly be lighter than it was in April. We had some interesting configurations. It made it rather contentious and difficult, but those are starting to dissipate. So this month gets a little lighter, at least for the first three weeks of that. And our moons are going to be very helpful to us, you know, also. And we will have a new moon. I do believe in, I think it's a Taurus, is it? Or Gem yeah, I think it's Taurus. That's very grounded or so coming up. I don't remember the exact dates right now. But we'll have a good full moon heading our way also, you know, coming up, you know, too. So that should be very positive. And the full moon should be hitting us in Sagittarius. So that'll be a very fortuitous you know moon opening expanding growth uh opportunities helpful joyous so that's something wonderful to look forward to the let's say not so wonderful part of it will be that we are going to have our second mercury retrograde of the year coming upon us and i do believe that's on may 26. so we will be having you know three weeks from May going into June, you know, for Mercury retrograde. So that'll be an interesting time when things start to slow down and we'll be facing a few difficulties here and there. But other than that, you know, we'll, we've been through worse recently, so we'll get through that too. The good news is about that is that uh, that Mercury retrograde ends, you know, in mid-June and hopefully before the summer solstice. So that way, we will be free of any retrogrades from Mercury for the entire summer. So we'll have a wonderful, beautiful summer coming upon us where things will go direct and we'll be clear, focused. We can do all of our plans, make things happen. Uh, and there is nothing that should be impeding with that particular retrograde, which is usually the strongest for us to feel, since Mercury is the closest planet, you know, to the Earth besides Venus. It's Mercury and Venus. Venus retrogrades never really affect us that that strongly. So luckily, so little emotional things here and there, but it doesn't last too long. But the Mercury retrograde does. So we'll be free of that for the summer, thank goodness. And so that's something to look forward to as well. Um, let me see. Hello, Lori. How are you? Good to see you here. Good to see you here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And let's see. I'm just watching my timing here because I don't want to go overboard either. I've been on for an hour already. It should have been on much earlier, but we had our pain connections. But we're here for an hour at this point, as I'm seeing here. So I'm just going to stay a little bit longer. And let's see. I'll stay another, like, maybe till 11.15. Okay, I don't want to run too, too long. But it's 10.45. So I'll stay till, like, 11. Okay, just to make up for the lost time from before. And anybody who comes up with a question, now's your time to do that. I'll only be here for another uh, 15 minutes. So, um, we don't want to overstay our welcome either and tire people out. Uh huh. Let's see. Right. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see. Yes, thank you, Lori. I will. I'll let mommy know. You know for sure. Thank you. And once again, everybody, we have a beautiful holiday coming up tomorrow. So for all of you out there, just happy Mother's Day. It's a beautiful celebration. I'll be celebrating with my mother. It's always wonderful. I'm very blessed to have my mother you know, with me, especially after this past year. So incredible and at her age. And yet, you know, she made it. She made it through this crisis and she's here. And we're taking real super good care of her. And she's here once again. So we're spending Mother's Day together again, which is a big blessing and a big celebration, especially more this year because we are getting through this, you know, pandemic thing. So that's always, you know, to be appreciative and we must appreciate. We have to appreciate and just, you know, be grateful. Gratitude, especially this year for those of us who made it through this, you know, is especially meaningful. We must remember also though all of those who unfortunately lost their loved ones this past year due to the coronavirus pandemic. And for those of you who lost your mothers, you know, in this past year, whether it's through the coronavirus or not, we remember you and we send you blessings and we send you comfort and prayers and lots of light you know, to you. You know, at this time, you are not alone. You are remembered. You're being remembered right now. And I send prayers to you and comfort and light you know, for you at this time. And remember, your mother is with you. She's not physically here anymore but she is here, she's here and she's in the light and she is just sending you a lot of love, a lot of love. I assure you, whatever relationship you may have had with your mother, it's changed now, not just because of the physical change, but because now they are in another life and are able to really see everything and know things that they weren't able to hear. So they are able to be more of a support to you than ever before. And they embrace you in their light. You are not alone. And you are together. You are together from spirit to earth. You are all together at this time. Always know that. So we send light and love to you. And let me see. I'm just going through things here to see how we are. And let's see. Let's see what's up. I'm just looking, scrolling through to see if anything else comes up. Now that I'm Facebook, let me see if there's any more here. Okay, let's say, let's see. Let's see what's up. Okay, so we got to go through here. Right, okay, good, good, good. So we have a lot to look forward to this summer. Energies are improving as long as things go well and everybody does what they need to do. We're going to be fine. We're all going to be just glorious here. So I'm just taking track of the time here for a bit. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see what's coming up here. And let's see. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mary Lou. Thank you. The same to you, Miha. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. You know, for sure. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. So I'm going to stay on another 10 minutes. So if anybody has, you know, a question from Spirit, if any new people are out there, you don't have to hide. You know, come on. Make yourself seen. And you can say hello and you can ask your questions you know, of me here. And let me just connect over here on Zoom, see how I'm doing, you know, for time. And I'm just trying to be taking track of the time. I want to make sure that, that I don't go over, you know, stuff. And here we go. Okay, we have it here. 
Okay. So we're cooking fine here. Let me get off, you know, this window, come back to this one. I got like three different windows working here all at once. Here we go. Let me get off, you know, this window. And let's see, I'm on the Facebook window. No, I'm on the Zoom window. I'm getting back in the Facebook window. I'm on for an hour and six minutes. Okay, good. So that's what I needed to see. So we're going to stay till like 11. Okay, and then we're going to call it, you know, good night. But I'm glad I was able to do this finally, you know, and provide you a few readings at least to make up for last week's finale. Um, I'll be popping in from time to time also, you know, throughout the next few weeks and other ways or so, so we can connect, you know, once again, we'll do maybe a meditation or so, or some other thing, some other item of interest that might come up. Also, I might do a, maybe some more spot readings, they'll pop up for that, you know, for a little bit, as long as I can get the connections, right, excuse me, as long as the connections, it'll come up right, which is always something to wonder about, but, you know, I will do what I can, anyway, to get myself on here for all you guys, and that's the best thing. So, here we are. Let's see. So I'm looking here to see what's going on. So far, no new questions or so, no new questions from spirit. We do have a lot of spirit, you know, around, by the way. Okay, um, for, you know, some of you, your spirits are still with me. I can still get a sense of them here. Also, I have a few spirits for me you know, as well, too, which is very nice to feel and see them. Sent me my signs and messages that I can see to let me know that they're around, you know, too, and giving me confirmation that their help is there. So that's lovely to see. And um, let's see. So we have that going on. So yes, so the next few weeks will be better until towards the end of May. Then things may start to shift a little bit where it gets a little bit um, rough. Okay? So be aware of that. But we've gotten through all of this. We'll get through the rest, you know, too. So let's see. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have anything to say? Does anyone have any questions? Let's see, looking through here, maybe anything else here? All right, Pauline, you have a question, let me see. Okay. Right. Okay. Have a question, let me see. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see, Pauline. Um, uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's see, Pauline. Well, what I get to see here is someone who is supportive for you, Pauline. Um... There's similar interests, obviously, and working together well, because there's a mutual understanding on that end. So that works, you know, good in that way. Um, so as long as things are mutual understanding, so, and mutual, you know, respect. As long as things are yeah, mutual understanding. There's, you know, a long-standing relationship there. Mutual you have to work together. Yeah. There's, you know, and to build, you know, on that aspect of things. So I see longevity. You know, I feel longevity you know, here for you so in regard to your question. You know, I feel longevity here so for you. more to come that way, you in know, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. 
So let's see. That's a good thing. I'm going to try to see if I can, you know, broadcast live from YouTube at some point. Maybe the next time I come into the computer once again and do a show, I'll try to do it directly once again from YouTube and see what happens there. So, I mean, I did try it once before, and unfortunately, similar to Facebook Live tonight, I had problems with the sound. I don't know what it is about the computer or so. There shouldn't, because I'm not having problems now, obviously, through Zoom. But through YouTube, I did have a little problem with sound, you know, also. But I'm going to give it another try and see if I can broadcast directly you know, from uh, YouTube. Um, I think I tried it once through Zoom and YouTube. I'll have to try both ways and see. I'll be doing some testing. So if you see in the next few days or so, my coming on, let's say through Facebook, you know, on a program coming through YouTube, uh, it's because I'm testing to see how the connection works. And especially when it comes to the sound. And hopefully that, you know, I'll be able to be audible properly so that I could broadcast and live, you know, from YouTube directly or uh, from Zoom, you know, to YouTube and see, let you know, you know, about that. So I always like to try different mediums to outreach, you know, to people and get myself more out there so people can know more about this and what I do, you know, also. So, you know, just stay tuned. I'm sure you'll see something, you know, popping up, you know, sooner or later that way. But so far things are going well and something keeps reminding me to talk about uh, something I was talking about a little bit before, a few minutes before, about spirit and about spirit, you know, being in the heavenly realms, but also, also being interdimensional. And that they could be sharing the same space as we are in. It's just that they vibrate on a different level. So we're not able to see them or feel them or hear them, but they're still in our same physical space. It's just that they don't, we cannot see them uh, because of that. And that I feel there's gonna be a change where it's gonna be possible, where we're going to be able to start to connect more with those dimensions whether through portals or through some way about it, or maybe they're going to be opening up more to us in some way. So just be aware of that. I was watching a program last night on cable. It was ancient aliens. And they were talking about, you know, travel and others and extraterrestrials or so. And they were talking about Japan. And what is that, two years ago or so that they were seeing a high number of UFOs you know, in Japan and that people reporting it constantly to the government and the government eventually had to relent and say something about that. It seems that there are others from other worlds that have been visiting us and that they may be amongst us as well. And then like about two years after that, it appeared that the prime minister's wife had reported that she had been abducted and that she had visited other places with extraterrestrials. And one thing that stuck out to me was the statement that she made where is she said that Venus is a very beautiful place. So that caught my eye and my attention because Venus, as we know, is a planet that from the earth perspective is very close you know, to the sun, has a very hot, atmosphere we could not possibly survive on venus simply too hot we couldn't breathe the air but yet she said that venus is a very beautiful place now this reminds me also of something else from years ago about a visitor you know from venus that spent uh, some time in washington and conversing with the president at the time and spent a good three years or so here as a guest, you know, on the earth and in the government over there, and then that left. And that individual was from Venus. So this is the second time that I'm hearing about Venus being an actual place where people live in some way. 
And I'm looking at it from the perspective of this conversation where it's like, well, we see Venus the way it presents to us in the material, which is a planet that's very hot. You know, no one can live there. It's very fire and gaseous and whatever. It's impossible to breathe the air. It's methane and nitrogen and whatever. We couldn't possibly exist there. But yet there apparently a civilization that lives there or resides there, but yet is not visible to the naked eye from here, at least from the telescopes. We've had craft go to Venus. We've had pictures taken of the surface. We see what it's like. It's like Mars. You know, there's nothing there. Just rocks and mountains and maybe volcanoes and dirt and whatever, but nothing else. But yet there's a civilization that somehow comes from there in some way. So as I look at that, I say, well, this could mean that it's because of a vibration. They may be indeed sharing the space on that world, but in a different way. They vibrate in a higher level, higher energy. And there may be wonders there in that space or so, but in a different level, in a different vibratory plane where they can exist there or near there but not actually be on the planet as we see it you know, from here. So that's something to talk about in the future. And that's the program I'm thinking about you know, doing and when you know, I return you know, for metaphysical communion the next season. And I certainly will have more information about that. I do know more, obviously. But I want to talk about that and devote a full program you know, to that, because it's quite fascinating. And it's another way of looking at the metaphysical, the paranormal. And in this case, it's the extraterrestrial and see how they exist, how that works. There's a lot that we don't know, obviously, about that. And it makes us look at the fact that different civilizations from other places exist in different ways than we do here. And that's just something that seems to be inc incomprehensible because we don't have that experience you know, here. But they live the way they do there. But it's something that is starting to open to our minds and to our comprehension. And for us to start seeing, learning, and starting to understand about how others and other beings or so exist. So that's something to look forward to from there. So from on that note, I, let me just look at this quickly here. Okay. So from on that note, let's see. Okay. All right. So at this point, we're going to come to a conclusion for tonight. We've been over an hour, I think. And we don't want to go over. I think it's 11. Yes, it's 11.04. So we're done for this evening. To those of you who joined me here, thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for coming in. For those of you who asked questions, thank you. And I'm glad that we were able to provide some readings for you. And the Spirit was here so abundantly you know, for you to provide you know, their guidance and their confirmation to you. So it worked out despite the difficulties. And again, if you wish to connect with me individually, just reach out to me through Facebook Messenger and on the, my page, the Angelus Colon Trans Psychic Express. And we can you know, connect about a consultation one on one. All right. So enjoy this beautiful weekend to come. Enjoy tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there who are celebrating. Enjoy the spring that is upon us and all the good things that are coming our way. So beautiful weekend, beautiful week, and we'll connect once again you know, in the near future. So on that note, we're going to say... You know, good night. Once I find, you know, the Zoom in order to do that. <laughs> it's always interesting here when it comes to Zoom. So let me see. I got to find Zoom now. That's going to be interesting. It's always interesting here when it comes to Zoom.
So I do that. And let's see, here we go. So I'm here. So I'm on my Zoom window once again. So let's check out here. So thank you everyone. Lots of love and light and blessings to you. And we will see each other again. So farewell and good night. <laughs>